Hello everybody. So in example 7.6, we have a solenoid with some wires around it in this direction. Okay, and the current flows in this direction. So you of course it's gonna go out. Okay, and then we have a uh, a ring, we can say on top, oops, just floating there for a second. So what happens when not when there's no current flowing? So for example, when this is zero, well, there's no current flowing, so nothing will happen. However, once current starts flowing, well, at the beginning, we're going to have a change in flux Because B is in term is in terms of T, so it changes of course goes from zero to something on our oops. On our graph it goes from zero to something. So we can say that this is time oops. and this is B. <clears throat> okay. Or we could say it's something like this, doesn't matter. Both work. Um So once we have a change in flux, of course we know we're going to have an opposite EMF induced inside the ring that we have here on top. And now, since we know it's in the opposite direction, that means that it's going to go this direction. And now, of course, since, uh, well, now we know that there's going to be a magnetic field going this way, okay? And we, we have an opposite magnetic field created by the ring, but at the same time, the ring will be pushed away. Oh, upwards. I want to just, I don't know the arrows like this. Upwards. Because we're gonna have a um, current that is in the opposite in the loop in the ring, we're gonna have a current that is opposite to the current in the solenoid. And of course, since we know that these two currents are gonna be against each other, or we can yeah, we're gonna be against each other, the two uh, opposite, as the book says, repel, and the ring will just go away.